What is up, what is up, and what is good? It is the Dude Sparado, and today I will be customizing this, the WL Toys 12428, and I have been waiting for this video for so long. So let's dive straight into it. So anyway, you see this is the WL Toys 12428. You probably know if you clicked on this video, but uh, this is an incredible RC car, and I have a video reviewing this, and if you want to, do not watch it. Don't watch it. I'm telling you, don't watch it. It's It's not a great video. But anyway, I've been really looking forward to making this video because all the videos that I've been posting so far, they've had no personality. I mean, I'm just sitting here. Today I'll be reviewing the WL Toys 12428. It's nice. I didn't start this YouTube channel just to do reviews and stuff. I was just trying to get some views, but then I realized the only way to get views is to do stuff that you like. I mean, if I don't like doing that, then why bother making YouTube videos? So anyway, this is me. I I go by EJ, I'm the Dude Sparado, and yeah. But anyway, I got this car about two months ago, drove it for one, it broke, the ESC just completely gave out, and the motor's absolute garbage. I mean, listen to this. Yeah, that. Through the motor, you can actually see daylight, so yeah, that's not good. I drove the car through some water, and the ESC really didn't like that, so it decided to destroy itself. So now I have a brand spanking new... E oh, Jesus. So I have a brand spanking new uh, Surpass Hobby ESC brushless. It's, it's really nice. And I love the color scheme. This is my signature color scheme. So we need to take some before video, just so you know how it looks before I do anything to it. And also be sure to like and subscribe. That'll help me out to make more content like this. So uh, smash that like button. And subscribe but I believe we'll have to switch over to the good old iPad to get some cinematic shots okay um, one of the tires just fell behind the, the dresser so so I'm um, Oh, whatever, forget the tire. So, plans, plans, plans. What are we going to do with this car? Um, as you can see already, there used to be, like, a dude with a white helmet in there, but I killed him. I had to take him out because the ESC wouldn't fit in there with that thing on top. And that does look epic. But then I ran into a little bit of, say, a dilemma. So I realized that if I took the protection from the top of the motor off, then rocks and stuff could easily fly up in here. So I decided to do something that I haven't seen anybody else do on YouTube. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a sheet of plexiglass. And if you're wondering... That sounds really nice. So anyway, if you were wondering where this came from, well, it was something like this. If I could just win, kind of window this, all of this in. I know if you're an RC enthusiast, you've seen those videos with like 23 million views that have the cars crawling and like 0.5 times speed so it looks real. And they're just crawling, going through nature and stuff. Well, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this. I I really believe in it. I think he can do it. He was a good car. So that is the goal with this car, but obviously I don't want it to be completely stuck because I'm going to throw some bigger tires on here, lock the diff. Also, subscribe if you want to see all that because I'm going to be doing that pretty soon, I guess. Okay, we'll need to get rid of this for a second. Drop this into the abyss. Get our piece of glass and... um. Yeah, let's try this. And by the way, if you're wondering why there's so much background noise and, you know, this, it's because I'm literally recording on a potato. Look at this thing. It's like a $70 action camera, which I also have a review on, which is actually pretty good. It's only appropriate that we do this in red, you know, my signature color. <laughs> Oh god, this is really awkward. I really hope you're enjoying this camera angle, but th I think this is a really good uh I think this is a really good template. This is a, probably as good as it gets. Now, uh uh yeah, I'm I'm going to cut this out.
Okay, I trimmed it. And... Ooh, but it is coming together, though. I mean, I know it doesn't look any different, but... It's looking pretty good. Gosh darn. I think I might cut a little slit in the bottom of the glass over here because... You see, it doesn't exactly sit flush down here, and yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, and it looks pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hot glue the bottom of this so it seals up the bottom, but, uh, and I'm gonna hot glue the front of this towards this uh, A-pillar so it doesn't show up too much in the front glass, but now it is time to slide the front glass in, which should be really easy. I shouldn't even need to put them Mm, there we go. Come on. You see, there's naturally a little space under the under this like sun visor thing, and it fits perfectly in there. Perfect. That looks fantastic. So now all we have to do is just hot glue the thing. But I don't have any extra outlets here because, you know, uh, yeah. So I'm going to need to take this to my other workbench over here. Ooh, I forgot about this. You see, cars that go through the jungle, you know, Land Rovers, all that stuff, usually they have these kind of wire things to brush off branches from the side and... Well, I think you get where I'm going. Okay, so the car is finished. Right now, I can't show you the rest of the car because uh, I've done a lot to it. A lot of time has passed since I started this video. So where I hot glued, you see I covered with a permanent marker. You can also see that I blacked out most of this, um, these pillars right here. And uh, I'd love to show you the entire thing, but you know, I don't want to spoil my future videos. What I did was I glued right here, I glued this to the frame, and in the front, the glass kind of slides in there really easily, and on the sides, I used the inside, and you see the mount where that guy with the white helmet and the cover for the all the electronics, I used that, I tucked the glass into there, and then hot glued the edges in there, and it held up really well. Also from here, you have a better angle on how the glass kind of tucks under that front lip, which helps a lot. And I'm sure you probably noticed this mesh stuff on the back three quarter window. Uh, I can't find my finger. I'm sure you noticed this mesh stuff. I added that afterwards. I know this video's kind of had an awkward change in pace, but I was originally going to make customizing my car a, just one big video, but you know, it turned out to be a lot of footage that I made, so I'm going to break it up into a few different videos. The car is finished right now, and let me just say, it's worth watching. But like I always say, be sure to like this video if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe if you loved it, because I'll be posting new stuff. But anyway, thank you all for watching. It is the Dude Sperado, and I am out. <laughs>